we're going to kick off with a piece of music from the Jethro Tell Christmas album. I think it's the last time we played this. It's, um, it's a piece which is about a little fellow who used to live on the roof of my barn, spin round in the cold and wintry weather. His name was Mr. Weathercock. This is his song. Good morning, weathercock. How did you feel last night? Did the cold invite you? And did you face up to the fright? When the leaves spin from October and whip around your tail, did you shake from the blast? And did you shiver through the gale? Give us direction. The best of goodwill Put us in touch With your fair winds Sing to us softly Of evening song Tell us what the blacksmith Has done for you Do you simply reflect changes In the patterns of the sky or is it true to say the weather heats the twinkle in your eye? Do you fight the rush of winter and hold snowflakes at bay? Do you lift the dark sun from the fields and help him on his way? Good morning, weathercock, make this day bright. Put us in touch with your fair winds Sing to us softly an evening song Find the way to better taste we can share with you bit of introduction time here. Bring on the uh, usually quite Reverend George Pitcher who works here at St. Bride's in a steadfast and resolute fashion. He's going to give you the formal introduction. George. Thank you Ian and I'd just like to add 
to what Ian said uh, at the opening there. Please, when I finish speaking, don't applaud. <laughs> and if you're any of you are wondering what a uh, priest might wear under his cassock at times like this, I can confirm that I am wearing a codpiece. <laughs> welcome, welcome one and all to St Bride's uh, on this Christmassy evening. I hope you're feeling Christmassy, most of all because I hope that you're going to give till it hurts tonight uh, for our cause that we're supporting, that Jethro Tull are supporting, that we're all supporting tonight uh, in our carol concert, that is the connection at St Martin's, who provide shelter, food, and most importantly perhaps comfort and some loving attention to those who most need it all the year round, but particularly at this time of year at Christmas to people who are out on the streets. So a welcome then to you one and all this Christmas tide and a welcome to our fine musicians, our wandering minstrels, Jethro Tull, who are, as I'm sure you know, oh, they've gone. Oh, good. Okay. Martin Barr, James Duncan, Ian Anderson, David Goodyear and John O'Hara. And don't applaud. So, we come, we come together to hear again the Christmas story, to raise our hearts and voices in the singing of Christmas carols, to listen uh, and to remember how it all began with a homeless family seeking shelter. Now I'd like to introduce our choir, Claire, Andrew, Stuart and Philip. Please, lady and gentlemen, take it away. What cheer, good cheer, be merry and glad this good new year. Lift up your hearts and be glad in Christ's birth, the angel bad. Say it to other if they may be sad. What cheer, what cheer, what cheer, what cheer. What cheer. Now the King of Heaven is perfected. Joy and mirth we ought to make. Say it to other for he said. What cheer, what cheer, what cheer, what cheer. What cheer. I tell you all with hearts so free, right welcome, welcome ye to me, be glad and merry for charity. Good cheer, good cheer, good cheer, good cheer, be merry and glad, be merry and glad, be merry and glad, this good news. It's a piece of music, first of all, that we um, uh, did in 1968, just, at the, uh, just before Christmas we, we recorded this and originally did it with a string quartet. It was the first time we got to know the delights of small string orchestras. We don't have them here tonight, of course, but we do have the rest of us to do the original Jethro Tull's A Christmas Song. When you 
your stomach Yourselves at the Christmas parties You'll laugh when I tell you to take a running jump You're missing the point I'm sure there's none it may The Christmas spirit is not what you drink So how can you laugh when your own mind is hungry? And how can you smile when the reasons for smiling are wrong? Just messed up your thoughtless pleasures Remember, if you wish This is just a Christmas song oh. Hey, Santa, pass us that bottle, will you? It's a little weird without the applause, but I'm getting used to it The last time we were in the throes of an economic recession was sometime in the 70s. Forgive me if I can't remember exactly when, but I wrote a piece of music back then about the then economic recession. It seems suitable time to make you all really depressed again, as if you hadn't noticed it already. There's a little song that was uh, forgotten about for a long time, made it onto some best of album and then on the remixed and remastered, remastered version of Heavy Horses, I think. It's a piece called Living in These Hard Times. in the china, the fats in the fire, there's no turkey left on the table. The commuters return on the six o'clock flight, brings no bail and pay for the stable. For the light it is failing along the green belt, as we follow the hard work signs. Semi-detached in a suburban nest, we're living in these hot times. in the milk and the cash in the steel Another bun in the oven Oh, what to do? We laugh and we'll sing And try to bring a pound in your pocket A day to you Oh, these hard times The politicians and the sat on the wall And played with the union game Someone slapped a rate on a deficit Not a penny left to a name Or oh, the times are hard and the credits mean And they toss and they turn and sleep And the lines they make are the lines they take But they're not the lines they keep Well, the flies in the milk and the cats in the stew And now the bun in the oven Oh, what to do? We'll laugh and we'll sing And try to bring a pound from your pocket To take to you Oh, these hard times The cow jumped over yesterday's moon And the lock ran away with the key you know what you like and you like what you know But there is no chance for tea For the light it is paling along the green belt As we follow the hard work signs Semi-detached in our suburbanness We're living in these hard times
Well, while the flies in the mill, then the cats in the stew, another bun in the oven. But what to do? Well, I'm famous and hey, try to bring a pound from your pocket to take it to you. Oh, these hard times. Well, I live in these hard times. It's one of those moments where we're going to get you to all join in. There's going to be a congregational carol, as you will see from your... You don't have a set list like me. We call this an order of service. It's much fancier than a one-page set list. Because these days, the set list is written in very big letters for people with poor eyesight. A piece you all know called Silent Night with our Sir Bride's Choir. I'm going to do a reading now from uh, Sir Walter Scott. He wrote this epic poem called Marmion. And this is a little condensed version of it with some of the more uh, tasty moments taken out of it for the, uh, the occasion we have here. Sir Walter Scott's Marmion. Heap on more wood, the wind is chill, but let it whistle as it will, we'll keep our Christmas merry still. Each age has deemed the newborn year the fittest time for festal cheer. And well, our Christian sires of old loved when the year its course had rolled and brought blithe Christmas back again with all his hospitable train. Domestic and religious rite gave honor to the holy night. On Christmas Eve, the bells were rung. On Christmas Eve, the mass was sung. That only night in all the year saw the stolen priest the chalice rear. The damsel donned her kirtle sheen, the hall was dressed with holly green. Forth to the wood did merry men go to gather in the mistletoe. Then opened wide the baron's hall to vassal, tenant, serf and all. Power laid his rod of rule aside and ceremony doffed his pride. 
The heir with roses in his shoes That night might village partner choose The fire with well-dried logs supplied Went roaring up the chimney wide The huge hall table's oaken face Scrubbed till it shone the day to grace For then upon its massive board No mark to part the squire and lord There the huge sirloin reeked Hard by plum porridge stood And Christmas pie England was merry England When old Christmas brought his sports again Twas Christmas broached the mightiest dale Twas Christmas told the merriest tale A Christmas gamble oft could cheer The poor man's heart through half the year the cream with this long tail hanging down it quietly sits under every tree in the folds of his velvet gown he drinks from the empty acorn cup the view that found sweet leave stones and tabs his cane upon the ground Signals the soul drops its time to groan It's no fun being Jack in the green and No place to dance, no time for song Wears the colors of the summer soldier Carries a green flag home with the long bomb Jack, do you never sleep? And does the green still run deep in your heart? Or will these changing times Motorways, power lines keep us apart Well, I don't think so I saw some grass running through the pavements today And the rowan, the oak, and the holly tree are the charges ever in the grave Each plate of cross was first Jack in the green Oh, Jack, please help me through my winter's night And we are the berries on the holly tree and the missile thrush is coming, Jack, put out the light. As if one Christmas song from Jethro Tull wasn't enough, we recorded a few years later a piece which uh, was a follow-up to the original A Christmas Song. And with great imagination, I decided to call it another Christmas song. And here it is. Everybody's ringing on their own bell this fine morning Hope everyone's connected to that long distance phone Oh man, he's a mountain Oh man, he's an island Oh man, he's awake, says I'm gonna call Call all my children home Everybody's dancing to their own drum this fine morning yeah. The beat of this in Africa or a Polish factory town Oh man, 
He's calling for his supper He's calling for his whiskey Calling for his sons and daughters Yeah, calling Calling all his children around Sharp ears are tuned in to the drones and chanters warming yeah. Miss blowing round some headland somewhere in your memory Everyone is from somewhere, even if you've never been there So take a minute to remember the party heat That might be the old man calling me How many wars you fighting out there this winter's morning? Yeah. Maybe it's always time for another Christmas song. Old man needs to sleep now. Got appointments to keep man. Dreaming of his sons and daughters. Yeah, proving, proving that the blood is strong. For our third reading this evening, we're going to welcome to the stage uh, one of TV's uh, better-known journalists. He also is an occasional author. Look out for his next book, which is hard, hard to work on at the moment. Gavin Esler, please join us for the third reading. Thank you. Thank you, Ian. Um, I'm not so worried about lack of applause. We don't get much on Newsnight. I wanted to read uh, a poem by Jared Manley Hopkins, God's Grandeur, partly because it's one of my favorite poems, but uh, mostly because I think it sums up these rather difficult times. The first eight lines are irredeemably gloomy. The next six are a bit better, but the last line is worth waiting for. God's Grandeur by Gerard Manley Hopkins. The world is charged with the grandeur of God. It will flame out like shining from shoot foil. It gathers to a greatness like the ooze of oil crushed. Why do men then now not wreck his rod? Generations have trod, have trod, have trod, and all is seared with trade, bleared, smeared with toil, and wears man's smudge and shares man's smell. The soil is bare now, nor can fruit feel being shod. And for all this, nature is never spent. There lives the dearest freshness deep down things. And though the last lights off the black west went, oh, morning at the brown brink eastward springs, because the Holy Ghost over the bent world broods with warm breast and with our bright wings. We're going to have another congregational carol now for you. The choir are going to join us up here, and uh, Robert will strike up the tune for us. This is uh, one I'm sure you know. Oh, come all you faithful.
Now for the next reading, uh, I'd like to invite onto the stage uh, a friend of mine who's uh, one of uh, England's best-selling thriller writers and occasionally a stand-up comedian, Mark Billingham, for the fourth reading. Thank you, Ian. No stand-up comedy. Um, this is a poem called The Ballad of the Bread Man by Charles Causley. Mary stood in the kitchen, baking a loaf of bread. An angel flew in the window. We've a job for you, he said. God in his big gold heaven, sitting in his big blue chair, wanted a mother for his little son, suddenly saw you there. Mary shook and trembled. It isn't true what you say. Don't say that, the angel said. The baby's on his way. Joseph was in his workplace, planing a piece of wood. The old man's passed it, the neighbours said. That girl's been up to no good. And who was that elegant fellow, they said, in the shiny gear? The things they said about Gabriel were hardly fit to hear. Mary never answered, Mary never replied. She kept the information, like the baby, safe inside. It was the election winter. They went to vote in the town. When Mary found her time had come, the hotels let her down. The baby was born in an annex next to the local pub. At midnight, a delegation turned up from the farmers' club. They talked about an explosion that made a hole in the sky, said they'd been sent to the lamb and flag to see God come down from on high. A few days later, a bishop and a five-star general were seen with the head of an African country in a bulletproof limousine. We've come, they said, with tokens for a little boy to choose. They told the tale about war and peace on the television news. After them came the soldiers with rifle, bomb and gun. Looking for enemies of the state, the family had packed up and gone. When they got back to the village, the neighbours said to a man, that boy will never be one of us, though he does what he blessed well can. He went round to all the people, a paper crown on his head. Here is some bread from my father. Take, eat, he said. Nobody seemed very hungry. Nobody seemed to care. Nobody saw the God in himself quietly standing there. He finished up in the papers. He came to a very bad end. He was charged with bringing the living to life. No man was that prisoner's friend. There's only one kind of punishment to fit that kind of crime. They rigged a trial and shot him dead. They were only just in time. They lifted the young man by the leg. They lifted him by the arm. They locked him in a cathedral in case he came to harm. They stored him safe as water under seven rocks. One Sunday morning he burst out like a jack-in-the-box. Through the town he went walking. He showed them the holes in his head. Now do you want any loaves, he cried. Not today, they said. Now then, a piece of music that is uh, really one of Martin's uh, tunes from an album a couple of years ago, a solo album. This one is a fine piece called a winter snowscape.
Now then, um, it is the 22nd of December, and in fact, it's my daughter's birthday today, and she will be not enjoying it too much, because like me and her mother, she's down with a dreadful lurgy, so not feeling too well tonight, but she's here at least for a little while to enjoy this uh, service. Her husband, my favorite son-in-law, goes by the name of Andrew Lincoln. You're probably familiar with him from many television programs and movies. He's going to give us the fifth reading. So, Andrew Lincoln, to the stage, please. Looking terribly smart, Andy, if I may say so. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> Good evening, everyone, and a very Merry Christmas to you all. And you put me to the post, actually, because I was going to uh, wish my beautiful wife a very merry 30th birthday. This is uh, Christmas by Sir John Betjeman. The bells of waiting advent ring. The tortoise stove is lit again. And lamp oil light across the night has caught the streaks of winter rain. In many a stained glass window sheen from crimson lake to hooker's green. The holly in the windy hedge and round the manor house the yew will soon be stripped to deck the ledge, the altar, font, and arch, and pew, so that the villagers can say, the church looks nice on Christmas Day. Provincial public houses blaze, and corporation tramcars clang. On lighted tenements I gaze where paper decorations hang, and bunting in the red town hall says, Merry Christmas to you all. And London shops on Christmas Eve are strung with silver bells and flowers As hurrying clerks the city leave to pigeon-haunted classic towers And marbled clouds go scudding by the many-steepled London sky And girls in slacks remember Dad And, and oafish louts remember Mum And sleepless children's hearts are glad And Christmas morning bells say come even to shining ones who dwell safe in the Dorchester Hotel. And is it true, and is it true, this most tremendous tale of all, seen in a stained glass window's hue, a baby in an ox's stall? The maker of the stars and sea become a child on earth for me. And is it true, for if it is, no loving fingers tying strings around those tissued fripperies, the sweet and silly Christmas things, bath salts and inexpensive scent, and hideous tie so kindly meant. No love that in a family dwells, nor caroling in frosty air, nor all the steeple shaking bells can with this single truth compare, that God was man in Palestine and lives today in bread and wine. Now then, a uh, piece of music which is, uh, whew, well, I suppose not really necessarily Christmas as such, but it, it's redolent of fires and uh, golden toddies and things to do with that time of the year when families spend Christmas together. It's called Fires at Midnight. <laughs> I believe in fires at midnight When the dogs have all been fed Cold and toddy on the mantel A broken gun beneath the bed Silken mist outside the window Dogs and newts slip in the dark Too much hurry ruins a body I'll sit easy and the spark Kindled by the dying embers of another working day. Go upstairs, take off your makeup, fold your clothes, clean it away. Me, I'll sit and write this love song as I always seldom do. I build a little fire this midnight. It's good to be back home with you.
another working day Go upstairs, take off your makeup Fold your clothes neatly away Me, I'll sit and write this love song As I always sell them to the build a little fire this midnight It's good to be back home with you Well, it's good to be back home with you Back home with you Yeah, it's good to be back home with you
You're going to join in, in Latin. It's in your order of service. Check it out. probably 1972, 73, 74. It used to be in a kind of flute solo thing I did, an improvised version of a little bit of this ancient Christmas carol, happily out of copyright, so we can play it free from any worries of having to pay anybody. Um, this is um, a piece called God Rest Ye Merry Gentlemen, but done in a, in a slightly jazzy feeling. We'll get somewhere through this, and after a blessing, somewhere in the middle, or close to the end, we'll, we'll have the, the full congregational version of, uh, of God rest you merry gentlemen. Some of us will sally forth with buckets.
joy of the angels, the eagerness of the shepherds, the perseverance of the wise men, and the obedience of Joseph and Mary, but most importantly, the peace of the Christ child be yours this Christmas. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and with all whom you love this Christmas tide and forever. Amen. Over the fields 
And you make all your animal deals And your three wise men don't know how it feels To be thick as a Let's hear it for St. Bride's. Merry Christmas to you all. Thank you. Thank you all very much. Thank you for your support. Thanks, Thank you, Ian. And Jeffrey Charles. Thank you so much.